Hi, content idea deprived AnyTuber here making a short video about news in the niche, not really so niche world of seinen manga. Drum roll. An Ineo Sano manga is getting an anime adaptation. Finally, and it's not Pun Pun, don't worry. Dead Dead Demons da -da 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 Destruction is Ineo's latest work that he started in 2014 and finished about a month ago in February 2022. I actually haven't finished it. I think I read the first volume a month or two ago and just kind of didn't pick it back up. Not because it's bad or anything, I'll get to it for sure. It's just very dialogue heavy and I haven't been in the mood for a dialogue heavy manga for a little bit now. I'm honestly experiencing somewhat of a manga burnout currently, but I'm really rehabilitating myself with low quality shonen and a few chapters of 20th century boys every day. Anyway, dead 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 death portrays the lives of these very, I'd say peculiar high school girls living in a world where a giant spaceship is just randomly looming over their heads at all times and the atmosphere is just very chaotic. I'd say these girls are peculiar, not as in peculiar high school girls, in that sense they're actually pretty normal, just kind of chaotic, but peculiar as in you don't really see high school girls portrayed like this in any manga all too often. Writing relatable dialogue and characters that just come to life to the point where you almost expect them to jump out of the page and punch you in the nose are Inio Osano's strongest qualities as a mangaka IMO and it's going to be interesting to see how this translates into animation. The adaptation will be made by Production Plus H, which is a studio I've literally never heard of in my entire life. They started in 2020 from what I could gather and I checked Mal and found one anime on there by Plus H called Chikyu Gai Shonen Shoujo or The Orbital Children. Looking at the trailer, the animation seems decent, nothing to write home about, nothing to complain about. And at least from the one volume of Dedede that I've read, the art in it doesn't go crazy either. So this could be a great match, honestly. Or a decent match, at least. Now, I don't know, Dedede might go boss to the walls in the later volumes. And also, I don't really have a lot to go off of with Plus H. So for now, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. From a kind of promotional video, I don't really know what this is necessarily. So I'll just call it a promo. It seems that Asano himself is possibly going to be very involved with the adaptation, which I hope he is. I have faith in him as an artist and believe if he has a say in stuff, there's a much lower chance of the adaptation flopping. And generally from the one volume I read, that it seems like it's got much more potential to work as an anime than Pun Pun, for an example. Speaking of Pun Pun, everyone better buckle up for when this show eventually comes out because it's going to make more and more people aware of Ineo's other works, therefore they're going to read Oyasumi Pun Pun and my prediction is the fanbase is going to grow immensely. Just don't be butthurt when your precious niche series that's actually insanely popular already and not niche at all potentially goes more mainstream. I think that's it for this one. I just kind of wanted to get the message out there because I know many of my subscribers will be hyped about this and I'm hyped for it too. I just don't really want to speculate too much right now. The news just came out today and I just wanted to let you guys know in case you're not on Twitter or don't follow a lot of anime news sources. Thanks for watching though. If you're new here, don't forget to sub like, comment, whatever, and I just hope you have a great day. Peace.